28 of Honor Air Knoxville took off this morning. That group takes military veterans on an all expenses paid trip to Washington, D.C. to see the memorials built in their honor. 10 News reporter Leslie Ackerson is aboard that flight and filed this update on their journey. Good evening. So far, it has been a very full day here in our nation's capital of Washington, D.C. for all 130 of those veterans aboard Honor Air Flight number 28. As soon as they touched down here in D.C., they were greeted with signs and beautiful singing from local students in area schools from here. But as soon as they got on the buses, it was straight to all of the different tours and memorials that were built in their honor. They visited the Air Force Memorial, the Vietnam Wall, the Korea Memorial, the World War II Memorial, and Arlington Cemetery, where they got to see the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and the changing of the guard. And while it's been a very exciting day for these veterans, it's also been very emotional. It's been a super day. It's, it's just great to come back and see these memorials. When I go to the Korean Memorial, where I spent five years in Korea on two different tours, I get the willies every time I walk over there. On this trip, there are five World War II veterans. There are 23 Korea veterans and 102 Vietnam veterans. The oldest is the only female on the trip. She is 97 years old and a Navy vet. Coming up tonight, we're going to talk a little bit about the incredible relationship between the escorts who come on this trip to help the veterans throughout the day. One of them this year, VFL Josh Dopp. We'll, of course, have more on that tonight and more on this incredible trip that many of them call a trip of a lifetime. But for now, I'm going to send it back to you all in Knoxville. Thank you, Leslie. Those veterans are set to arrive back in McGee Tyson Airport at 745 tonight. We'd love for you to head to that airport and welcome them home. Remember, you do need to park in the economy lot located near the airport Hilton if you would like to welcome them home.